okay so today we will see pin bypass with objection tool how to do it uh, but before that let's analyze the application and for that we will open it in jdax tool let me open my app okay just a sec where is my application Oh uh, yeah, this is my application. All safe. I'm going to drag and drop it in ZX. Oh, let's see it. Okay. So all we have to do is we have to bypass the pin. And here is our syntax. I mean here is our code. This is my package name, which is Infosec Adventure, Infosec Adventures dot also dot challenge. This is my package name. And if you look closely to our code over here, my class name is this pin bypass. And there is one method uh, which they have declared, which is this check pin. And if you closely look at this method over here, we can see that the application is already having a base64 encoded pin or a base64 encoded string data hard coded into the application and what this application is doing it is simply decoding the hard coded pin and it will gonna verify whether this pin the user which is providing the pin and the pin which is available over here both are same or not if both pin doesn't match then I will get this incorrect pin try harder message and if the pin message uh, I mean if the pin which I am providing is correct then I will get this message which says access granted and good job let's check the application in our emulator I'm gonna minimize this here is my emulator all safe app and we have to bypass the pin and suppose i am entering a random value which is 1111 and if i click on check pin code i get this message incorrect pin okay so let me minimize this and over here let's do one thing let's first check out what exactly is this base 64 data is so i'm going to copy this base 64 data and over here i'm going to decode that which is something like this and we get this code which is 4863 uh, let's verify whether the code is correct or not i believe the code is correct but still let's verify 4863 and yes the code is correct now our main goal is to locate the method in the code and use preda to override the return value okay uh, but for the moment let's focus on objection for the moment let's see how we can change the return value to get this access granted message okay then later on in these upcoming video we will check how we can use Frida to brute force the pin okay let's start our objection but yeah and one more thing i have already started the Frida server we will use objection to change the return value for that i'll have to use data ps item uai you should be capital to get the identifier name and i'm going to use the identifier name with my objection okay then my next syntax will be android hooking list classes because we are interested in this pin bypass class and let's check whether with the help of objection did i got the pin bypass class name printed out or not okay uh, let me write it properly with proper alphabets proper uppercase characters and pin bypass 
Uh, I don't know why it is not showing up. Just a second. Okay, so I'm not able to find it. I don't know why. Uh, no problem. What I'll do? I'll manually check that class name over here. Uh, my package name is infosec. Okay. So it should be available over here. Yes. Okay. And I am more interested in pin bypass. Uh, okay, I'm not sure why, but I'm not able to see this class here. Okay. No problem. My next syntax will be Android hooking watch class and this should be my exact class name. So yes, I can check this out. I mean, I can check and I can also see that what are the different activities which this class is performing. So first is check pin. Okay. So yes, there is a check pin method available and there is also on create view method which we don't want to deal with. Okay. So let's change this classes, uh, sorry, let's change this methods output. I mean, let's change the return value of this method, check pin method. For that, what we'll have to do, we'll have to uh, write this syntax, which is Android. Okay. Set return value then i'll have to copy this part over here and for the moment there is nothing i mean there is no boolean operator is getting returned over here as you can see there is simple return written over here and there is also a decode part is getting returned in this check pin method so i'm gonna simply set it to true okay let's do one thing let's first set it to false and see whether we can get the correct message or not so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna enter this wrong pin and i can see that i'm getting incorrect pin message and over here I can see that my application is calling access dollar check pin method. So now what I have to do, I have to change this class or methods return value as well. So I'm going to clear this thing out. And enter. Okay. Let's check one more time. Again, I'm getting this incorrect pin. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the return value to true. This one and I guess this one also. Yeah. Okay. Now let's check it one more time over here. And yes, we can see that now we have successfully changed the return message. So this is one way to bypass the pin verification. 